Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Heartbreaker by Justin Bieber. And we're going to end up capoing on 2nd fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to start out on a C major chord. And we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret. 2nd finger goes to the D string on the 2nd fret. 3rd finger goes to the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a B minor chord. We'll call that a really easy way to play this. But if you know the bar B minor, you do your first finger across the entire second fret, second finger on the B string, th uh, third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, a good substitute for that though is something called B minor seven. We play B minor seven. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret and third finger on the high E string on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B minor seven chord, and it sounds really, really cool and sad. Um, although, you may want to think about using, instead of first finger, second finger, and third finger, you could kind of swap those for second, third, and fourth finger, and that can kind of help go into the next chord, actually, where we're going to a B seven chord, where you take the first finger and go to the D string on the first fret. So now I've got first finger on the D string first, second finger on the A string second, third finger on the G string second and the pinky on the high E second. And that sounds a D7 or B dominant 7 chord. It sounds really nasty. And then from the B7 we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And we play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor there's this really cool quick hit to a G major chord. And we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the low E string on the 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our verse through the song, it's kind of that C major, B minor, B7, E minor, G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. thing is that very last E minor and G that don't very last very long so you may want to do just kind of a down down up on each of those chords when we get to it. So we tried it that way. We'd have C with a down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes and a lot of times on that very first down of the down down up up down up you could throw in a bass note for the chord so on the C you'd have the A string for your bass and you could kind of keep your down up up down up bass down up up down on the B minor you'd have the A string for your bass on the B7 you'd have the A string for the bass and on the E minor you'd have the low E string for the bass and on the G you'd have the low E string for the bass that through our verse, the weird part is where we got that E minor G where we could use just kind of a bass down up on each chord. So we tried it that way, we'd have C with an A bass, down up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down up, up, down, B7 with an A bass, down up, up, down, B minor with a low E bass, down, G with a low E bass, down, C with an A bass, down up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down up, up, down, B7 with an A bass, down up, up, down, B minor with a low E bass, down, G with a low E bass, down up. Now what it sounds like in the recording though is almost kind of like a reggae feel where you could do kind of a bass up, 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 up on each chord. So we tried it that way. The weird part is the E minor and the G where you could do kind of a bass up, up, bass up, up on each of those chords. So we tried it that way. We'd have C with an A bass up, 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 B minor with an A bass up, 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 B7 with an A bass up, 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 B minor with a bass up, up, G with a bass up, up, C with an A bass up, up. Up, up, B minor with an A bass, B7 with an A bass, E minor with a bass, up, up, G with a low E bass, up, up. And then we're basically
basically going to be repeating that until we get to our chorus part. And on our chorus, we do the C major, and then the G major, and then we go to the B7 chord, and then we go to the E minor chord. So it's almost like a little variation where the G kind of takes the place of the B minor. So we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have C with a down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, the down, down, up, up, down, up. Or if we tried that with our bass, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have C with a bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, B7 with an A bass, down, up, up, down, E minor, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. Or if we tried that with more of that reggae feel, we'd have C with an A bass, up, 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 up G with a bass, up, 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 up B7 with an A bass, up, 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 E minor with a bass, up, 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 up. And then we're basically going to be repeating those parts until we get to our, our bridge outro part. And on our, our outro, we go to an A minor chord, and when we play A minor, First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and then third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord that sounds really, really sad. Your bass note for the A minor would be the A string. We have to kind of work in that. And you could do that with the down, down, up, up, down, up. It's kind of alternating A minor four times and then E minor four times. So we'd have A minor with the down, down, up, up, down, A minor with the down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor with the down. Instead of starting on a C chord, he's actually starting on a D major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, but now your C major is really a D major chord, your B minor is really a C sharp minor, your B7 is really a C sharp 7, and the E minor is really an F sharp minor, and your G is really an A major chord, and when we get to it, the A minor is really a B minor chord. But to take it from the very beginning, we can kind of work that, that intro with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have to the down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, G, down, down, up. Or we could add basses to that and have to the bass, down, up, up, down, B minor, the A bass, down, up, up, down, B7, the A bass, down, up, up, down, B minor, the A bass, down, G, the A bass, down. We could try that with kind of that reggae feel where we have the C with the bass up, 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 B minor bass up, 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 B7 bass up, 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 E minor bass up, up, G bass up, up, C with an A bass up, 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 B minor with an A bass, B7 with an A bass, E minor with an A bass, G with an A bass, and then we're basically repeating that until we get to our chorus. We can do our chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up. And we have C with the down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could try that with a bass, down, up, up, down, up. We have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, B7 with an A bass, down, up, up, down, E minor, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could try that with a reggae feel. And we have C with the bass, up, up, up. Up, G bass, up, 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 B7, A bass, up, 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 E minor, C, G, B7, E minor. And it will basically be repeating those parts until we get to kind of our outro bridge where we got the A minor, E minor. So we could try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down.
strum pattern I would think about on that last part of the bridge there is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now, if you're tapping your foot to the beat, we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up. That's the basics of how you get strung through Heartbreaker by Justin Bieber. So good luck!